One, two, three, four. I want to walk with my Jesus and I want to walk like him. I want to talk with my Jesus and I want to talk like him. So I'm learning these holy habits to make room in me for you. Come on and take my heart, let's make a start and see what God can do with the holy habits. The holy habits. Stinking out the church. That's not a holy habit. Taking the ring to Mordor. That's a habit in a habit. Play on a my recorder. That's really nice. So what's a holy habit? Big time with God. What's a holy habit? Living by his word. What makes it a habit? You gotta stick at it. What's holy about it? Too much to tell you now, but it, it all comes down to this. I wanna walk with my Jesus, and I wanna walk like him. I wanna talk with my Jesus, and I wanna talk like him. So I'm learning these holy habits to make room in me for you. Come on and take my heart, let's make a start and see what God, see what God, see what God can do with the holy habits. Yeah! Alright! Hey Welly! Hello everyone! Wellie, what are you doing? Why are you still in bed? It's 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Well, I know I said that we were going to talk about resting and that we were going to talk about what think, what, think about Sundays, but that didn't give you permission to stay in bed all day. I'm going to need your help. Come on, up you get. So what's so special about a Sunday? Well, a Sunday is the Sabbath, is the special day set aside to rest. No, you can't get back into bed. There's more to rest than just being in bed. It's about setting aside a day, some special time to focus on God. It's actually a command. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, in Exodus, there are the Ten Commandments, and they're kind of like the special rules that God gives to, to live a holy life, a special life for God. And in there, it says that you should have six days of work, six kind of ordinary days, and then there should be one extra day, the seventh day, should be special, set aside, holy, where you don't do the normal things. Why is that? Well. That's because God created the world. God created the world. He was really, really active. Can you remember what God did when he was creating the world? Can you help us? Okay, so God created the heavens, the sky, the seas, that's right, all the creatures of the earth, everything, didn't he? He was so, so busy over six days. And then he had a day where he said, right, I'm really pleased with what I've made and now we're going to rest. So that same uh, instruction is there for us, that we have six days of work, of being busy, and one day of resting. And Marjorie is really, is really interestingly, she thinks Sabbath is really important, important. And I know that for Marjorie, Sunday is a work day in a sense because she's a minister here at the well and so she comes in and she does work um, but she also values the Sabbath she finds it really important and she's very kindly going to tell us why she thinks it's so important and what they do as a family to keep Sabbath special hi everyone and when I came to work this morning I had various machines that have been helping me throughout my day so let me show you what I have I have my laptop that's a great machine. It can do all sorts of things. I've been working on it this morning. I've got some other one. I've got my phone, and that's a great machine. I've been on the phone. I've been having conversations. I've been doing my email, doing my texts. Uh, I've got my car keys. My car was another machine, and I use these machines without thinking about it all through the day. And I guess I just expect them to work whatever the day is. Now, here's the funny thing for you and for me. We are not machines. 
We were made in the image of God. You and I are precious because we are deeply loved by Creator God. We're created beings. And right at the beginning of the Bible, we see something really interesting. Right in the first book, in the opening chapters of the Bible, we see and read about the creation of the world. And we read that for six days, God worked really hard. So work, we see, is really important to God and to the makeup of how we are to live on earth. That's why going to school and doing our work and having a job in the future that we enjoy is really, really important to everybody. But then something fascinating happened. We read that God on the seventh day rested. Imagine that. The God of the universe had a rest. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I need to rest. If I don't get enough sleep, I get grumpy. If I don't get enough sleep, the danger is I might get sick. If I don't get enough sleep, I, I don't enjoy myself so much or I get a headache. Probably you know what that feels like. You don't sometimes want to go to bed on time, but getting enough sleep is really important. But the God of the universe, imagine that. He rested. And so we see right at the beginning of the Bible that God has made a rhythm for us here on earth. And it's a rhythm of working and working really well and working really hard and being pleased with the work we do and learning to rest. And so we read that on the seventh day, God rested. And then what's fascinating throughout the scripture, throughout the Old Testament, and the New Testament throughout the Bible, we see that God commands his people to remember, and there's this interesting word, the Sabbath, that Jody mentioned, to remember the Sabbath, and to take part in having this special day dedicated to God. Now, for years, friends, I didn't know anything about this because nobody taught me about the Sabbath. And in the family I grew up in, we didn't w operate like that. We worked every day. Uh, we did our work the same on Sundays, the same on Saturdays, the same on Mondays. Everybody worked all the time. But now I've learned a totally different way of following God's way. Now, for years, I thought the Sabbath meant just having a day off. And I used to love that. I used to think, on my day off, I will go and do my shopping. I will clean the house. I'll do all those jobs that maybe I don't do in the job I get paid for in the other job. But now I've understood that Sabbath, a day dedicated to God, is completely different. And if we learn to receive this gift from God and do it differently, it can really bring us life. So what's Sabbath about? Well, I guess Sabbath is about saying we're going to have a day where we do fun things. We're going to have a day where we do things that bring us life. We're going to have a day where in the midst of it, we're not just maybe watching films and eating pizzas and walking and being with our family and being with our friends and having a party and doing things we like to do that give us life, but we're also going to connect with God. And this is the bit that for years I missed, that Sabbath is not just a day off like everybody has in the world. But the people of God know differently. Sabbath is a day dedicated to God. So as we as a family are learning about Sabbath, we try to have special times as family. We try to eat nice food together. But we also remember who God is. And there's something about learning to worship him, however that might be for you on the Sabbath. And just stopping and taking a deep breath and remembering who he is, how good he is. He's the creator and who we are. We are created beings and we're learning to walk to his rhythm. So here's a challenge for you. How can you celebrate Sabbath? Maybe you can talk about it uh, as a family together or with other people and learn to have a time in the week. It doesn't matter what day it is or what time it is, but a time in the week where you can learn to be with God, do fun things, eat nice things, celebrate together, but also connect with him. That's right, Wellie. It's not a good thing to stay in bed, is it, on the Sabbath? There's lots of other things we can do. We heard from Marjorie some of the ideas, some of the ways 
we can set time aside. You've got some ideas. So Wally's going to help us think about what we could do on the Sabbath. Oh, what's Wally doing? I think that Wally is singing and worshipping and praising God. That's absolutely really, really important because the Sabbath is a day, it's a holy day, a day set aside for God and God wants us to worship him. So it might be that we watch the online service or when we're able we go to church. We can worship at home in our gardens, out and about, together as a family or with our friends or on our own. Worship is a really good thing to do on the Sabbath. What's Welly doing now? I think Welly is eating and drinking and eating good food together with the people you love or the people you enjoy spending time with is another good thing to do on the Sabbath. Having a meal with friends and family. It might be you cook something special, go make a bit more effort on a Sabbath, have a Sunday dinner or um, something that you particularly enjoy. What's Wally doing now? (laughs) I think Wally's playing. Wally likes games and having fun. And actually having fun is really important on the Sabbath as well. So playing games with friends, with family, doing things that make you laugh. It's really a good thing to do. One more. Okay. I think Wally is walking. And walking is the thing I really like to do with my family. That would be my choice to do on the Sabbath, to get out in nature, to enjoy all God created, but to spend time with my family at the same time. That brings me joy and helps me to remember and think about God. Fantastic. So perhaps you can be thinking, oh, what are you doing now, Wally? At least while he's not going back to bed. Okay, well, he's getting ready for something. Perhaps well, he's decided how he's going to spend Sabbath. Okay, you've got your plastic plates and your cups. I wonder, Welly, are you going to have a picnic? So well, he's going to have a picnic with his friends. What a great way to spend Sabbath. Eating, chatting, maybe playing some games, hopefully outside in nature. Really good idea, Welly. Much better than spending the day in bed. So I wonder what you might do for Sabbath. How might you make sure you get the balance right in your week, that you have a day where you are restful, where you can do things that bring you joy and life, so you can have a time where you focus on God? What will you do as a family? If you don't already have things that you keep set aside as special for the Sabbath, for the Sundays, perhaps you could have a chat together and come up with some ideas of what you might do. Whatever you decide to do, I hope that you have a really great day today and that God blesses your Sabbath. See you soon. Bye for now.
want to walk with my Jesus and I want to walk like him. I want to talk with my Jesus and I want to talk like him. So I'm learning these holy habits to make room in me for you. Come on and take my heart, let's make a start and see what God can do with the holy habits. The holy habits. Stinking out of church. That's not a holy habit. Taking the ring to Mordor. That's a habit in a habit. Play on a my recorder. That's really nice. So what's a holy habit? Big time with God. What's a holy habit? Living by his word. What makes it a habit? You gotta stick at it. What's holy about it? Too much to tell you now, but it, it all comes down, down to this. this. I wanna walk with my Jesus, and I wanna walk like him. I wanna talk with my Jesus, and I wanna talk like him. So I'm learning these holy habits to make room in me for you. Come on and take my heart, let's make a start and see what God, see what God, see what God can do.